everyone. Jason Shepard here, M08.com, an emergency descent. I've done this one in two ways. You've seen it as the power back, steep spiral down, I need to get down. But what about an emergency descent like we often hear about and talk about in our POH as it relates to something like an engine fire in flight? My POH from 1972, engine fire in flight, make sure to idle cut off, fuel selector off, master switch off, establish a glide of 120 miles per hour. I want to get down and try to extinguish this fire here. Close my cabin heat and find a field suitable for a forced landing. Let's practice that here a little bit. Let's say, for bid, I see some smoke coming out. I have an engine fire on my hands. I run through the checklist just like it says. Obviously, I'm going to lose power here, and now my goal is to get down as soon as possible. A steep spiral is not a good idea. I want to get down here, so I'm going to literally 120 miles an hour. Look where I have to put the nose to make that happen back at idle. Now, I also want to prevent excessive loading here straight, so I want to add some nice shallow turns in here to prevent any crazy loading. I've got a great field out in front of me. I'm holding my 120 here, and I'm just kind of doing some nice shallow, I could even yawn a little bit. Now, let's change the scenario up a little bit. What if it was an electrical fire, and it was my wingtip, my strobe light that caught on fire? I want to keep that back away from the airplane. I could kick that rudder out to keep that wingtip that's on fire back behind me as I'm continuing down at 120 miles an hour. You have a lot of options, is my point. We think of an emergency descent as power back, steep spiral, I'm going down, whatever it is. But if I have a fire, I, need to, I want to first off attempt to extinguish it, and I need to get down as soon as possible. What does your POH say to do in the event of an in-flight fire? That might be something to study. That may be something new to learn from the POH, or have it like I have it right here, red on the checklist, and it really should be a memory item. I'm gonna go ahead and discontinue this here before we get below uh, 1,000 feet here. And something we need to memorize, something we need to have a flow check for, an emergency descent. But what is the emergency? Is it an engine fire? Is it an electrical fire in the cockpit? Smoke in the cockpit? Is my wingtip on fire? What is the situation? And adjust those circumstances for that situation. But the thing is, when things hit the fan, you have to know your checklist. There's no fumbling around trying to find page 3-7 in your POH to figure it out. You need to know it off the bat and have it known just up, saved up top. Listen, can't wait to read your comments, read your feedback on this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Pass your check ride, or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.